So I had a doctor put her finger up my butt the other day like she was installing posts for a fence. Suffice to say, I did not enjoy it. Or did I? Good evening, citizens of the world. My name is Stiff Rockwood, and this is Jizz News, coming to you from our parent company at the Spunk Network, where we cover it all and give it to you hard and quick. This is Last Month in Music News, where we bring you sort of current music news from last month to distract you from your miserable lives. Hey kids, that's what you have to look forward to after 40. We start the broadcast off with The Boss. Bruce Springsteen is releasing a new album that he totally hasn't released five other times. This one is entitled The Best of Bruce Springsteen. The record label promises that this one is really the bestest, greatest one, and that Bruce especially tried to sing all the same songs this time, the best he's ever done it. At this point, if you buy this one, you're not a fan, you're just a polyp on his colon. I love to paint a picture. Billie Eilish said that she broke up with the next boyfriend because she had a dream with sunlight hitting the actor Christian Bale while he was in a cafe when she was like 20 years old. She said that going forward, she'll only make important life decisions based on what her alphabet serial spells out for her. Good to see she's maturing. I'll give you three guesses what this girl is crying about. <laughs> a. Her cat died B. She found out she has hemorrhoids Or C. She heard Taylor Swift singing a song I for one am in favor of bringing back the guillotine Just not for me Sam Smith did some modeling in the Vivian Westwood collection at Paris Week It's giving very homeless Viking chic John Mellencamp was performing at Stranahan Theater in Toledo, Ohio Last month, when a heckler interrupted one of his stories in between songs with, Play some music. Mellencamp responded by saying, What do you think I've been doing, you sucker? Here's the thing, man. You don't know me. You don't fucking know me. Then he told him that he wanted to see him after the show and threatened to cut ten songs out of the set list. He then started to play his song Jack and Diane and then completely stopped the show and left the stage. I'm not even joking, that's all true. He then came back out and told his seven-year-old grandson's friend to shut the f*** up, little dick. Liam Gallagher said that he doesn't want to go on tour anymore after adopting a Thai rescue dog. Her name is Buttons, and she was abandoned by her owners for not being cute enough. He said it's the second best happy ending he's ever gotten from Thailand. No wonder why he doesn't want to go on tour anymore. This is a reminder that the music industry isn't how it always used to be. I don't remember Dolly Parton having to score a perfect 10 on the floor exercise at the Olympics with her vag showing. Katie might want to get that thing checked out. It looks an octave or two low. This brings us to our wonderful sponsors. Bruce Springsteen's best super duper splendiferous really seriously awesome final greatest hits album. Listen to Springsteen sing Born to Run acoustically as a barbershop quartet, as a death metal anthem with the kazoo, balancing on his butthole smoking a bong, and 45 other ways to squeeze every last dime out of you while making you think you're getting value for your money. Join the fan club as well and the record label will send you a personalized letter to your house signed by some guy in accounting with the CEO's butthole print awaiting your puckered lips. The John Mellencamp Bedtime Stories Album. Invite your seven-year-old kid's friends over for a grand old sleepover party where they'll hear such timeless hits such as Go to bed, you little motherfucker. You don't fucking know me. And I'll beat your fucking ass to sleep, bitch. The album comes with a belt and a bottle of Jack Daniels as a gift for John when he walks in the door. Don't piss him off, kids. You won't like Mr. Grumpy when he's angry. Now I'd like to document a story under the Who Gives a Shit file. Yes, I'm giving it attention, but who gives a shit anyway? Neil Young has added his music back to Spotify. 
If you remember, he took his music off Spotify back in 2022 because of the deal that Joe Rogan inked with Spotify for his podcast and said that Spotify was giving a platform to people who spread this information on the virus that must not be named. Neil Young's reasoning for giving in? Young admitted he could not simply leave every streaming service because his music would have very little streaming outlet to music lovers at all. To Neil Young folding like a cheap chair on his morals because his hypocritical tantrum didn't have the outcome he intended it to have, who gives a shit? Ozzy and Sharon Osbourne have let it be known who they think should play them in a biopic on the couple. Bill Hader and Florence Pugh were their picks. Other choices to play the roles are a prickly pineapple, a screeching car tire, a melting candle, a hungry hyena. Stop me when you get the point. Any vegetable, nails on a chalkboard, a squeaky door, a deflating balloon, a boiling teapot, a mosquito, grinding teeth, the sound my nuts make on your face when... Cardi B joined Madonna on stage at Madonna's celebration tour to judge a Vogue off. They set a record for the collective weight of silicone and filler that's illegally able to be supported by a single stage. Timothy Chalamet has been picked to star in a biopic on music legend Bob Dylan. They do kind of look the same there a bit. Chalamet is also slated to be the lead in a biopic on Kristen Stewart as well. Very versatile actor. Shigechi Nagishi. That's not me badly ordering a Japanese geisha girl. It's the name of the inventor of the karaoke machine, and he has died at 100 years old. We salute you for making Americans look like fools since 1967. We've made ourselves look like fools since 1776, but you added an environment to the mix that included alcohol so we could at least have fun doing it. If I have to hear another drunk 40-year-old white woman sing Baby One More Time by Britney Spears one more time at a bar, I'm going to grab you out of that grave and shove a chicken tempura sushi roll right up your domo arigato. Rest in peace. Billboard reported what we've all been waiting for in the world of music. Donnie Bennett brings the funk on Infinite Desires. What's more funky than this sweet-looking bastard? Chalk one up for the guys that look like they wash dishes in the back of a Greek restaurant wearing a hairnet to cover the 20% of their head that it hasn't been divorced from. Flavor Flav has a new reality TV show. He's going back to high school to get his diploma. There's a lesson to learn here, kids. Don't graduate high school until after you've become rich and famous. It's a clear path to success. William Shatner turned 93 and recorded a new song called I Want to Be a Tree. I think Shatner needs to aim higher like me. I'm recording a new song called I Want to Be Shakira's Bikini Bottom. Highly professional fifth grade jokes like that every month, folks. Subscribe so you don't miss out. Well, folks, that's all the news for now. You will like this video. Comment down below and subscribe. I'm Stiff Rockwood, and this is Jizz News. You know what I always say? <laughs> Who gives a shit? Until next time. I think I'm going to start producing women's underwear with my logo on them. It's sadly the only way I'm going to get close to Shakira without getting a restraining order slapped on me. Creepy? I don't think it's creepy at all.